Hey, so you wanted to be able to um, go ahead and leverage the Twilio SMS extension so that you can uh, text multiple contacts, contacts or users at one time. Um, so anytime you're working with a list and you want to do something to that list, you're going to have to iterate through it with a loop. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how. I'm just going to add an endpoint from scratch here. We'll say uh, text contacts. And we'll go ahead and hit save here. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is actually get our contact information. Um, in this workspace, I just have a user table. Go ahead and hit. Um, and if you see my uh, response here, you can see I have a, a phone um, field here. And um, this is just going to be a list of users. It's actually just a list of myself because I'm using the Twilio free trial. So. I can only actually text, I think, verified numbers. So I was only able to verify my own number. Uh, no worries there. Um, we'll just have a few text messages go to myself. So I won't actually show you the data. I want to keep that private. But now that we have our list of users, our contacts, we have that information. So next thing to do is iterate through this with a loop. So we'll go to data manipulation, uh, go to loops, do a for each loop and select items to loop through. So we're going to select the user underscore one list. Uh, remember, because we're returning a list of users here. And this will be called now item, or we can call this, um, yeah, we'll just call this item. So this is basically saying uh, for each user, call it item. And now we'll go ahead into uh, the function stack here. And because I already have the Twilio extension uh, configured and downloaded in this workspace. I can find that in custom functions. Go to Twilio, send SMS. And so now within this for each loop, you can see this function takes in a two number and a body. So we want to select multiple two numbers. So what I can do is I can go ahead and select this item variable that is created in this for each loop. So we're going to say for each item in this loop, Go ahead and we'll use dot notation to get to my field called phone, which contains my user's phone numbers. And then the body, I can just say something like, hi, what's up? Uh, you can obviously make the body dynamic too, but we'll just hard code this in here for now. Let's go ahead and save this and I'll just delete this response for now. Um, and now when we go ahead and run this, um, we see everything ran successfully, and I have uh, two, I don't know if you can see that, but two text messages on my phone. So that was for both of my records in there. So they're both going to say the same thing. Um, sent from your Twilio trial account. Hi, what's up? And that message is there twice. So um, that is how you would send a text message to multiple users, of course. You can also um, filter what users you want to send. Maybe you have some kind of dynamic where statements here, like maybe where uh, the name is or the created at, or maybe you have some kind of field in here where there's a notification and you want to put that um, in something like a background task and run it every so often. That's all definitely possible. But um, there you go. Hope that's helpful.